Hi and welcome to this last lesson on alkyl reactions and I will actually look at quite a few new concepts not just um, relating to alcohols itself but actually relating to organic chemistry reactions as a whole um, and I'll do that by first summarizing the two reactions that we've looked at so far we've looked at a dehydration reaction okay or let's start with hydration 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 of an alkene was uh, taking an alkene and then adding water and then that produced an alcohol the first thing I want to teach you new is that is what we call this type of reaction yes it's an hydration reaction but it's also called an addition reaction this is an addition reaction then we had dehydration 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 was starting with an alcohol and breaking up an alcohol into the same the same two reactants we had here we're breaking it into an alkene and into water okay and this is an elimination elimination reaction okay that is what we call it when we eliminate a group from um, a hydrocarbon okay to produce hydrocarbon and, and uh, something else it would be elimination what we're going to look at now is at um, is what is called a substitution reaction a substitution reaction that is going to be so basically what addition is is we are taking a hydrocarbon and then we are adding a different functional group to it that's why it's addition okay um, an elimination reaction would be having some sort of functional group and reducing it in complexity in in some sense not really but to um, reduce it into a hydrocarbon alone that would be elimination so we're eliminating a functional group from it okay so substitution would be where we actually substituting the functional group into another functional group and what we are going to look at is starting with an alcohol alcohol and then adding to that alcohol um, a halogen halide okay you remember halogen halide or um, sorry not halogen halide a hydrogen halide a hydrogen halide is a, um, a hyd like hydrochloric acid or um, hydrogen bromine or hydrogen iodine it's a hydrogen and one of the group seven elements and this is going to produce as a as a result is going to create a haloalkane a haloalkane plus water okay haloalkane plus water and you can see why because we've got the OH molecule here we've got the H molecule there so these obviously are going to produce the H2O molecule and then we've got the alcohol um, that has lost the hydroxyl substituent and now receives a halo substitute or can um, uh, receive the, the halogen here to produce a halo alkane okay so that's basically the idea and I think if I change colors I might keep your attention a slightly longer and uh, so let's look at an example of this before I um, do however go into the example I need to first explain something primary and secondary secondary and tertiary I think it's an A tertiary alcohols we get different types of alcohols okay and uh, these three different types of alcohols refers to the number of branches number of branches that the alcohol has okay a primary a primary alcohol has no branches 
okay so it is literally something like ethanol butanol propanol um, doesn't matter where the alcohol is in that carbon chain that would be a primary alcohol a secondary al um, alcohol is obviously one that has one branch well, I say obviously that's what it is one branch in in um, in that case it means it's a methyl it has a methyl or an ethyl group or a um, or doesn't matter it's got a, a single branch a tertiary alcohol has two branches two branches in other words for example it is dimethyl dimethyl or diethyl okay now the reason why this is important is because um, reactivity the likelihood of something reacting um, does involve the branches because a the more branches there are the more reactive an element would be so in this substitution reaction it is important to note that primarily <laughs> I shouldn't use that word because primarily means something yeah um, but w um, the alcohols we will work with to do a substitution reaction in this case will be tertiary alcohols they are more reactive reactive when it comes to this specific reaction okay so let me look at a tertiary alcohol I'm going to look at okay we're going to look at this one okay sorry CH3OH plus hydrochloric or hy uh, hydrogen brom bromine okay so what is this one called let's quickly see what is the longest chain we can see it doesn't matter where we we take the chain it can either be starting here there and there or here and there we can see that in it doesn't matter where I start I've got two I've got two um, carbons in my longest chain that means this is ethanol okay ethanol because I have the alcohol substituent there ethanol the alcohol functional group and then I've got two branches both on two so it doesn't matter if I start there numbering one two uh, sorry um, it's not on two it's on one okay because I start numbering here one two one two one two doesn't matter in which direction I number okay so I see that um, on my first carbon I've got two I've got two methyl groups okay so that means this is one comma one dimethyl okay left myself with little space one comma one dimethyl plus um, hydrogen bromine okay and what will that produce well this is actually a very simple reaction because what would happen is simply that this bond here would be broken up this bond let me rewrite this one as H B um, R okay this bro a bond here is broken up and this all happens at room temperature the only important part here is that we use a tertiary alcohol and a, um, a halogen um, a hydrogen halide and what would happen here is simply the bromine will attach um, its valence electron and this lone valence electron they will attach so we will have um, and let me rewrite this one is a carbon with these three substituents okay and bromine that's what will be produced and then the hyd hydroxide ion will attach to the hydrogen to perform to create 
H2O. It's as simple as that, really not very difficult. Okay, however, that is what will happen if we have an alcohol reacting to um, a hydrogen halide. Okay, so that was the process of actually starting with an alcohol and producing a haloalkane. Is it possible that we can go backwards in this process? Is it possible to start with a haloalkane and producing an alcohol? Yes, it is. And, we, and, and again, this is a substitution reaction because we're replacing the um, this substituent. So we have um, a haloalkane. If we take a halo alkane, this time we need the hydroxide ion from somewhere and we will get it from a base, something like potassium hydro um, hydroxide um, or sodium hydroxide, some sort of base, and that will produce an alcohol, an alcohol plus a salt okay so don't worry if you don't know what I mean by here later on we'll do acids and bases this for example is a base so when we do that topic you'll also understand this whole topic a little bit better and um, when we have an acid and a base react together they produce a salt but that's not so important f um, f uh, in this case what we do need to know though is the reaction conditions for here so the reaction conditions in other words how will we conduct this reaction okay well one is we will dissolve dissolve the haloalkane let me write it like that in ethanol in ethanol okay dissolve the haloalkane in ethanol and so ethanol would be a catalyst it will help in this reaction the second thing we would do is to add an aqueous an aqueous solution of our base okay which in this case is potassium hydroxide and then the third thing we would do is um, we would heat the solution. So let's write that in a different color as well. Um, we would add heat. So we will heat it up. Okay, and what will this reaction um, look like? Okay, let's use an example. Let's take the same the same reaction but or the same compounds in this reaction so we'll have our carbon with so this is two carbons so it's eth and bromine so this is one bromo one bromo one comma one di methane ah oh, some methyl sorry methyl ethane okay one bromo one comma one dimethyl ethane plus my potassium hydroxide and this is in an aqueous solution okay and add it together what these two um does with ethanol as ethanol as a um a catalyst in which this is uh, um, dissolved in then we the product of this will be exactly the same um, as before is our bond here will be broken the bond there would be broken and the bond here would be broken so the um, carbon um, with its one valence electron will 
um, react with the hydroxide to produce okay, carbon, that carbon hydroxide on that side and here we'd have our carbon, the rest of this will stay the same. So we'll produce a tertiary alcohol okay, plus and now the potassium and the bromide would react to produce cap, um, potassium bromide bromine will react potassium bromide okay and uh, yeah that's it that is really it so you can see that it is a, um, a halo alkane a halo alkane producing an alcohol okay alcohol which means that it was a substitution substitution reaction so these are going to be the only reactions that we are going to look at um, at this point. So we'll see you in the next topic where we move on to the next functional group. We'll see you then.